Hello everyone, uh, Dan Calloway here, and today I want to talk about one of my favorite Linux distros. I've got it out on my laptop now, and I'm running it as a virtual machine here in Oracle VirtualBox on the desktop. Let me go ahead and log into it. And uh, open it up. Uh, this is Manjaro KDE 17.1.12. Okay. Just downloaded it, installed it last night, been messing around with it, configuring it. It's a great uh, distribution. Uh, I like Arch Linux. Um, I've used Antergos for a while, and now I decided to go to Manjaro, uh, which I like better because this is a KDE interface, uh, the KDE or K desktop environment. And I like it a lot more than I do most GNOME based or GNOME based systems or desktop environments, uh, if you're familiar with either one of those. Uh, on this particular distro, you can see I've got a, a widget out here, which is my clock. I like my, my clock here. And, um, and so you can have several widgets out here if you like. Uh, I just like the clock. I like the, the way it looks and keeps me, uh, you know, in tune with what time it is when I'm working. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and show you some things in the desktop here. This is the start menu. If I click on it, it's going to take us out to the dashboard. Now you don't have to have the dashboard, you can have the conventional uh, menu if you like, but I just like the dashboard better because I'm familiar with it and it, it just for me it's just easier to use. I've got a favorites section here of my favorites. I've got uh, applications that are here that are recent applications, okay. Um, we've got the Firefox web browser, we've got the Kate editor, LibreOffice writer. Um, not a big fan of LibreOffice anymore especially since I've started using uh, WPS Office and only Office, but uh, it's there. It's, you know, out of the box. Conversation is an IRC client. Haven't used that, although I've used IRC before. Um, Cantata is a music player. Octopi is a uh, software installer. It's very similar to a Synaptic Package Manager in Ubuntu, if you're familiar with that. Here's Dolphin. This is the file manager, and uh, I'm not sure why I have two Firefoxes here. But then console is the terminal. Okay. Under the recent applications, I've got VLC Media Player. Uh, let's go ahead and open that up, and um, let's look at the version here. It's out of the box. It's version 3.0.3 uh, Veterinary. Uh, very nice uh, media player if you've never used VLC. I really like it. I've already tested it. Uh, in Manjaro works really well. I don't have any anything to play in here yet uh, on this system, but I can just trust me, it, it does work very well. Okay, um, let's go ahead and close that. One of the things I wanted to talk about Manjaro real real quickly before we move on is um, on the laptop I've got a Broadcom B43 uh, network interface card, and that thing has always been a bugaboo for me, uh, hardware-wise with uh, Linux distros. I've always had to go in and install the firmware and the drivers for the B43 before I could get the uh, integrated network interface card to come up and uh, connect for me. But not with Manjaro. With Manjaro, it automatically detected the hardware, and I was really happy about it. Uh, the Wi-Fi button came up, lit up on the uh, uh, the laptop's uh, screen and uh, keyboard, and uh, and then I was able to connect, no problem. So I was real happy with that. Uh, so in that respect, Manjaro's got my uh, got my plus there. Okay, so let's click on the Start menu again, and let's go down to Development. You've got things like uh, the Qt Designer, uh, a lot of those here. Education, you've got the LibreOffice Math. In Games, you've got Steam, which I have an account now. Started looking at the Linux Steam. I'm not a big gamer. Uh, but I started looking at Steam, and uh, I really like it, so I'm going to probably get into that more uh, as we move on into Manjaro. Graphics-wise, you've got Gwynview, which is a photo viewer, Inkscape. You've got LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, which is a PDF uh, viewer, uh, Scanlight for scanners. Okay, I've got a uh, all all-purpose uh, three-in-one HP printer scanner copier, and so Scanlight works with that really well. Internet-wise, you've got Firefox, you've got KGET, you've got Conversation, 
Microsoft Skype, which I haven't used in Manjaro yet, but I've used Skype obviously and it works well. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting into that. Qubit Torrent is a torrent uh, downloader. Uh, if you've uh, never used it, a BitTorrent, it's it's really nice because unlike a direct download for HTTP or FTP, with the BitTorrent uh, you get bits and pieces of files from different sources and it speeds up the process. They all come together in the end uh, and it makes a complete file download. So it's really nice. Um, there's Steam again. Thunderbird client for mail and most people are familiar with that. With multimedia, you've got Cantata, as I mentioned, VLC Media Player. Uh, for Office, you've got the standard LibreOffice Suite, which I'm going to replace with only Office or WPS, as I mentioned. You've even got Microsoft Office Components. If you have an account with Microsoft, you can use it here. Uh, you've even got Microsoft Online. If you've got a 365 Online account or something like that, you know, it's got OneNote and other things. Uh, here's Ocular again. Under settings, you've got your Manjaro notification, your Manjaro settings, you've got print settings and system settings. So if I click on system settings, it's going to bring up um, for hardware configuration and show you the hardware itself. I'm on a virtual machine, so it's showing you the video for VirtualBox. Um, kernel, you've got time and date. You want to change your time and date here. You've got user accounts for changing user accounts. One of the things I like about Manjaro uh, on the desktop here, anyway, um, and I think the laptop is just as uh, just similar, is that you um, even with three gigabytes of RAM, uh, it's very responsive. Um, workspace theme. If I click on that, uh, it shows that I'm running the breath look and feel. I click on the desktop theme here. Um, it should switch over, showing you that I'm using the Breath uh, desktop theme as well. You can get new themes. You can install from a file if you go out to the internet and do that yourself. So you've got a lot of possibilities here. Um, let's get back in here now. And then as far as system goes, you've got your Dolphin. You've got HTOP. Let's click on HTOP and show you HTOP. If you're not familiar with HTOP, it is a, a higher-end top processor for Linux. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the H stands for in HTOP, but it comes out of the box. You don't have to install it. Most Linux distros nowadays uh, do have HTOP installed out of the box. Uh, I have used many Linux distros where they weren't. You had to install it, but very easy to do. And so this is a somewhat graphical look at uh, you know, of your top processes that are running in Linux. And so let me hit F10 and get out of it. Uh, let me come back over. And um, you've got, uh, for your system here, you've got other things like the Info Center, the KDE Partitioner, which is really nice. So it's kind of like Gparted, except it's KDE-based. Uh, KSIS Guard uh, for guarding your passwords and things like that in the system. KWallet for doing the same. Uh, Ksys Guard, I believe, is for actually for guarding uh, hardware and, and other things, the software. Kwallet's more for passwords. Uh, Manage printers, Manjaro, hello. Octopi, if you're not familiar with that, it is a software installer. Uh, it's kind of like Synaptic Package Manager. It is a package manager for Pac-Man. Um, so it's like Synaptic Package Manager for Ubuntu, if you're familiar with that. Very nice. Uh, print settings again. You've got the SUSE Studio interface, uh, Yakawaki, uh, which is a, a terminal that pops up. Let's click on it, show you that it drops down. It's successful here. So if I hit F12, uh, let's do that. It drops down from the top. So it, it's basically a terminal on the fly, if you will. So all you have to do, if you need to do something in the terminal while you're in the GUI, you can just hit F12 and down pops a terminal window. You can run your commands and then go right back to what you were doing. And then finally here, you know, you've got some utilities. Uh, you've got ARC, uh, FileLite, HP Device Manager for um, managing those HP devices. Like I said, I've got an HP printer, all-in-one printer, scanner, copier, which really is nice. Kate, K count for calculator, K find for finding things in the system, 
Manjaro user spectacle for capturing the screen, and then the SUSE Studio. Okay, really nice there. Okay, um, in addition to that, you've got your workspace for virtual workspaces. I've got two of them up right now, Desktop 1 and Desktop 2. What I normally do is I name Desktop 1 like work for my work environment or for my work workflow, and then I name the second one play, so when I'm playing games in Linux, when I do play games, I can just switch to the second desktop, and, and it doesn't interfere with my workflow if I want to take a break. Dolphin, this is your file manager. I'll click on that. You can see, um, you know, that this is the file manager with your, your documents, your downloads, music, pictures. I don't think I have anything in the pictures right now. So I, this is a, a brand new system, so I don't have anything loaded right now. Okay, and then this is your taskbar. Uh, over here, you've got show desktop. You've got trash. Here is the Manjaro settings manager. Clipboard contents. Um, here is the network. So if I click on network, you can see that I am wired connected. Okay. This is the audio. The volume is of uh, 45 right now percent. And then this is your time. So it pulls up a calendar for you, and which is really nice. And um, you can use that for doing your calendaring. Okay. So this has been uh, Manjaro. Uh, KDE 17.1.12 quick review. It's not a totally in-depth view, but it's a quick review. Just uh, final comments before I close the video, just to let you know. Um, I highly recommend Manjaro if you're if you're into Arch Linux. Uh, if you want to have a good experience, you in a, in a Linux-based distribution that's KDE graphics backed, uh, and you want it to be very responsive, um, almost like Windows 10 actually then KDE uh, Manjaro 17.1.12 is the way to go. All right, so this has been a quick review, and have a nice day.